two. Knit one. Heart, Heart two. Heart two. Episode 14. Episode 14. I'm Sheila, also known as Sheila D37. And I'm Wendy, also known as Penny Wendy on Rallory, <laughs> Penny Wendy 2 on Spark People. I'm Sheila D37 on Spark People too. <laughs> I did keep track of what I ate this morning. Good for you. I I've been keeping track this week because I realized I was eating no, unbelievably no. not enough. I know. And that makes you not lose weight, which makes no sense to me, but... Well, well, I think it depends on the body, and your body is definitely more sensitive than that. It does. Mm -hmm. I It immediately sucks all calories in and says, not losing weight. Shall we jump right on in? Mm-hmm. You or me? It's my turn to go first. Okay. I'm going first this week. Right. And it's good that I go first because I got nothing. <laughs> um, on the dance card, I'm still working on the Summer's End sweater. Notice, though. I have sweater. finished the sleeves and I have attached them and started the raglan it's pretty. decreases. I can't really see them. There we go. Um, I'm making a few modifications. Uh, the first modification is on the raglan area that's supposed to be um, decreased with yarn overs. I thought so. I don't like that holy look on the, the sleeves. The top part. The I already have lace on the sleeves and lace on the bottom of the um, of the sweater itself. It just really felt like putting it across the chest part, which is where you kind of want to be warm, would be overkill. So I didn't do that. I'm also trying this um, slip slip knit that Sheila told me about. Normally when I slip slip knit, I slip both as if to um, knit and then I um, knit, through the, back knit through the back loop. Sheila told me to slip the first as to knit, the second as to purl, and then knit through the back loop. So I've been doing that. Do you find that it's more matchy-matchy? Um, I different? actually kind of like it better the other way, but I would started doing it. So I'll show you on here. It's just my preference, that's all. Um, it, it does, you can really see them more. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't. I guess I. I guess I don't really feel any way about it. Oh, but see, what I'm saying is, yeah, you can I see do. them more, but they're more matching. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I, I mean, know. I, I guess I don't really feel either way about it. But I started doing it that way, so I'm gonna finish doing it that way, and I'll look at it when it's all done. Um, the other uh, modification that I made is on the sleeve. Um, instead of just doing the pattern, I made a pearl row. In between the pattern and the sleeve, did you do just that for both? I did it for both of them just to better define it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I like that. I just I don't know why I just felt like it gave a better look to it when it's blocked out. You'll be able to see it more. I just think it delineates that the pattern is separate. Mm -hmm. So I did that. Um, let me just make sure that's not. Oh, also on the V-neck, oh, I yeah. discussed it at my knitting night. The v-neck starts here. You can see I've only made a few decreases on the v-neck. I'm going to keep decreasing for the v-neck until I get to the end of my um, raglan decreases. And that way the v-neck will go up all the Similar way. Similar to what you're wearing to, right now. Yes. It will go up all the way to the collar instead of going to here and then. Mm. Um, so I think it will be much nicer. And then at the end I will be, according to the pattern, I will be knitting a button band on the top part of the sweater. So. Mm. We'll see how it goes, but it's going really well. I'm actually going to work on it right now. I'm using my... New hoodie? <laughs> my needle hoodie. I love this thing. And um, I, I did want to point out I have the medium project bag here that I showed you last week, and I can get the whole sweater in this. Wow. And the skein of yarn. But I'm very tempted to buy the next slice up. <laughs> oh, there's one even bigger than yes, that? Yes, there is one even bigger than this, which I'm, I'm very tempted oh, to get. I didn't know that. So, I don't know. I'm trying to keep my purchases down. So that's one thing. Summer's End sweater. It's been getting a lot of love. It's good. It's pretty. Yeah. I think it'll be nice. Um, we'll see how it comes out. It's very wide. Uh, well, with your modifications. Well, actually, by taking the decreases out of the um, the raglan, it'll be, the top will be smaller than yeah, it was that So that'll help. But I, I don't know. And it might, it might, the, it's lace. It might get longer and that might take some of the width out of it when I wash it. So I don't know. I guess it's anyone's guess how this is going to turn out. But um, I love the color and um, now that I'm in just the straight knitting, I'm kind of enjoying it. It's really oh, relaxing. So, And um, you can see I have all these dangly cords because I am keeping the, I have to kitchener the armpits. Oh. 
and I have them on Knit Picks, Knit Picks um, cords that I just threw in there. But I am knitting currently on my um, Addy lace. So the, um, the clicks. Addy lace click needles. That's what I'm using oh. on this size eight or five millimeters US. So that's it for Summer's End sweater. It's going well. Um, the other thing that I do officially have on the needles is Jared Flood's Rock Island Shawl. I'm doing it in um, Ivy Bramble's Romantica in the Orchid colorway. And um, because Sheila was borrowing my <laughs> my US 6 needles. Sure, blame it on me. In, in, in the Addy Clicks, I am doing it on US 7. I would have given you a 6 bag. Or 4.5 millimeters. I, I told you I didn't mind doing it on the 7. I'm kind of, I want it to go up because I want it to be bigger. Um, I'm adding, I'm modifying it. It has, um, the like, heck of a mess. <laughs> it's all tangled because I don't have a stitch hoodie on this. I'm telling you right now. Um, let's look, it's in a knot. All right. So the way that you do the construction is you start out by knitting many repeats of the edging. And I don't know what this is like, 20 repeats or something. I need to make um, 71 repeats. And I was looking at somebody's notes on Ravelry, which I do all the time when I'm knitting a new mm -hmm. um, pattern. And she, she was able to increase the size of the shawl by going up to 77 repeats. And since I have a 1,000 yards of this lace, I thought, what the heck? I went up a needle size. I'm going to do 77 repeats. I think it'll be really pretty. How many um, yards does Jared Flood's pattern call for initially? I think it's about 600, oh, six okay. something. So I'm going to have plenty. Um, but, you know, I figured I'd try to do as much. I, I'm really loving knitting this. Um, I love this yarn, this um, mm, Ivy Bramble's soft. Romantica. It's really soft and it's lofty, and um, I enjoy it. This is my third shawl out of this yarn. I really, I'm, mm. I'm addicted to it. Um, Yarn and Fiber Company, I, I've mentioned them before, that's where I got this. And I love the color with that, just that pop of, um, yeah, I like that. of that grayish green that comes out every once in a while. And um, this, I find it very relaxing. It's, if, it's wonderful because you knit on both sides. You don't have to knit on one side and purl on the other side. So that makes it relaxing to me. Um, I know that some people have had a problem with the fact that they... Um, they show the same symbol, like obviously they do this a lot, but it means one thing on the right side and one thing on the wrong oh. side. So what I did... That would be. No, that's how they do it. But what I did is what somebody suggested to me, is I wrote in when the slash is supposed to be a knit to instead of a um, slip slip knit, I wrote it in. All right. So if you look on my chart, you can see that I wrote on it. <laughs> and... Um, but the thing is, it's obvious when you're knitting, to me anyway, when I'm knitting, it's obvious whether it should be a slip slip knit or a knit too. So it was kind of like, oh, I really did that for no reason. But um, it's a eight row repeat for the edging. And I've been cruising along on it, but because of the sweater that I really want to get done by the end of the month and because of the spinning that I've been doing, it didn't get much love this week. So that's it for that. And that's all I have on the needles right now that I'm working on because <laughs> I have other things on the needle. Yeah, but I don't think anyone that was on the podcast has ever seen No, and I'm going to – I decided when I was looking, I'm going to rip everything back that I know I'm not going to finish. It's a good idea. That's my summer promise. So that's it for me. Um, I have my usual Mountain Ash by Kate Gagnon Osborne on the needles. US 6, 4 millimeters, Debbie Bliss Alpaca Silk. The good news is, is I have now gone on to the edge. It's really pretty. I'm on the edge now. And so it's a 20... You're always on the edge. <laughs> yeah, I know. I think it's a 24-stitch repeat on the edge. I can't really see it. It's kind of light. Mm. Oh, you can see it. It's very pretty. So um, a couple of things. I cast on, got halfway through, and realized that I'm like, this doesn't look right. Looked at other people's notes. There's only six people who've done this pattern. And there's a note that's knit one through the back loop. Well, when you're purling it, you should be purling it through the back loop, which completely makes sense, but no errors were ever listed. Yeah. And then, uh, two, so I ripped that all out, started over again. Two repeats, and I realized I was doing this wrong. It's supposed to be with the rows 13 to 24. You're supposed to 
slip slit knit yarn over knit two together yarn over knit two together yeah I was doing it knit two together yarn over slip slip knit yarn over slip slip knit I did it for two repeats <laughs> it's staying that way it's now it's now modification. a design modification a design because modification. I'm not ripping it out and to make sure that I remember that it's a design modification I wrote it in my charts <laughs> so that I would Clever not girl. Like if I was to put this down and all of a sudden look at it. I actually, I looked at the pictures of the other people who have done it and I think I like this better. It's more of a clear cut. Yeah, and, I like and it see, a lot. See, that's my slip slip knit. See? Yeah. It's a little different than yours. Well, because it's got a yarn over to one side. Yeah, maybe. But I like the slip slip knit the way I do it. It's just for Yeah, me. I'm trying it out. Um... To each their own. We know someone else who I does don't it dislike it. I just It's not what you used to. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm 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 reserving judgment until I see how it looks in the finished So article. I'm excited to actually see this progress and I think I have to do twenty something repeats for the large shawl. I'm not worried about running out of yarn. I was given fourteen skeins. I've only used five. <laughs> You can make another one. I know. Now I'm like, what that's am I going to do? That's what I want for my birthday. <laughs> I don't think so. No, you have enough yarn. Just make another one. Yeah, maybe not that one, though. Maybe I'll do something else. It's my birthday. <clears throat> I'm making it. <laughs> yeah, that's Somehow it. Somehow that just seems wrong. <laughs> right, wait a minute. I think you do that to your mom all the time. <laughs> no, yeah. You do. Uh, yeah, so the other uh, thing that's on the needle is the Orion. It didn't see any love because I was really trying to power through with this shawl and get a few other things finished. Um, so I've been working on the shawl at work and actually I could be working on it anywhere because it's been so cold here in New England. Last week it was so hot when we were recording I thought that I was going to die. This week it's so cold like I am wearing a sweater. <laughs> And long pants. It, it was so <laughs> cold and raw on Sunday that we were contemplating starting a fire in our oh, fireplace. We turned the heat on. We no, turned the heat on. It do, is but... June. We turned the heat on. It was only 67 degrees in our house. We turned the heat on to 70 just to take the chill off. Oh, we don't even turn on the heat when it's 62. <laughs> uh, we're frugal. Uh, that's all I have on the dance car. Um, yeah. No. Yeah, sorry. That's, That's all, all I have on the dance, dance card. card. That's all I'm working on right now. Right. Actively on the needles. Um, rate your date. I am proud or humiliated, either one, to tell you nothing. I have nothing to rate this week because I finished nothing. I finished two things. As a matter of fact, my show notes were a little late in writing up because I wanted to finish one for the podcast. So <laughs> I finished my socks. That was one Yay. of the things that I was really pow <coughs> powering through. And I have to say, normally I'm anal about the fact that I'll count rows to where the heel ends to make sure that they matched. I didn't this time and they came out pretty good. Yeah. So it's just a basic, it's Wendy, it's based on Wendy Johnson's short row toe and heel pattern. It's free on her site. Uh, but my modification is, is I did the Judy's Magic Cast on for the toe and then I did do a short row toe, uh, heel, sorry. And I like it a lot. I uh, finished them on Sunday in the car on our way to Lowe's, put them on because my feet were freezing, walking around Lowe's with my ends hanging out. <laughs> and because I was so itching to continue to knit after I finished those, I did this. This is a preemie hat. It's on an apple. So it could be an <laughs> apple cozy. It could be a cup cozy. We yes, she out. was had it stretching, blocking, a dry blocking on a cup. I'm like, is that a cup cozy? <laughs> So. so this is a preemie hat. I modif um, I used a stitch pattern from a book that I don't have with me right now. It's in my bookcase. It's 400 knitting stitches. It's the bamboo stitch, but I did modify it a little. And I have to say I'm pretty proud. I kept the modification up through the brim because sometimes that doesn't happen. It's a seven. I think I cast out 72 stitches, but when I was decreasing it, I don't think I did. So it's just another one to add to the mix of preemie hats and pretty it hat. makes this um material so soft and squishy yeah i like that stitch on it and i am encouraging sheila to write up this little pattern as a free pattern from her on ravelry and yeah. if anyone agrees with me please say so on the comments or in the group to to kick sheila's 
Hi, Nate. I will. Doing it. I told her, email me the directions. I'll write it yeah, up. Yeah, because I have no knowledge on how to do that stuff. I'm still ah, I would be it. happy but to write it up for you. I'm happy with it. I like it. At first, I wasn't sure, but I like it. It's kind of manly for a little boy and yeah. yeah, kind of girlish for a little girl because it's got a little pink. I, I like so. it. I like that lofty stitch makes it feel he like warmer. Yeah, well, you know, I'm, I was thinking at first, I'm like, oh, it's not going to be warm enough. Then I put my socks on and I'm like, oh, yeah. It'll be nice and toasty. <laughs> so that's all I have for um, finish objects, rate right? my dates. Uh, the Wendy Knits, I love her sock patterns. It's easy. Two thumbs up there. I mean, they're, she writes very clear instructions. And uh, she actually has on her website, when I, I, I first learned how to knit socks using her toe up short row heel. And that's, and my mom uses <clears throat> one of her patterns. As her, I think like, it's heel with a difference. But she, on her website, she has one that uh, writes clear instructions on how to do the short rows line by line. And I'll link it um, because it talks to you about when you're supposed to wrap and turn. And now I just, you know, once you be, learn how to do wraps and turns, they become easy. So, yeah, that's it for my rate my dates. I only had two. I know. And I got nothing. This is kind of a boring week. You're boring. Project wise. All right. Future dates. Um, future dates. I'm just gonna say briefly. I am <clears throat> dying to knit on the catkin. Um, That's our. Did you see um, addicted to yarn? Addicted to yarn. Oh, Hi yeah. Becky. <laughs> she's she swatched for hers, it and I was really like, pretty. oh, and the first thing when she said she was swatching, I commented, what what is the swatch that you speak of? Because I never swatch for anything, and. I suspect I won't swatch for catkin either because that's how I roll. Well, I think the <laughs> idea of the catkin is so that you can also see, see how the, the colors, colors work look. together. Maybe I will. I don't know. Probably not. No, I'm won't. too lazy to swatch. But then she showed a picture of her swatch <clears throat> and I immediately recognized. I did not realize she is probably the one that I heard about catkin from and was like, ooh, must buy that. Yeah. So, yeah, I have that yarn in my living room sitting on the side waiting for me to... Um, Finish, finish the anything. The other thing that I forgot to write in my project notes is we are doing a mystery shawl. Oh. Are you doing it? I am. I signed up for it, but it doesn't start until June 30. It starts on June 30. That's so. We'll so find that's out a future date next week. But it's um by Crazy Cat on I think so. on Ravelry, and it's the Iris mystery. I shawl. know. Mommy needs yarn. Is planning on doing it. Melia Bella is planning on doing it. Hi Melissa. Hi Melissa. How did the um, how did the hockey go last night? Not last night. Tonight's last night. Oh, tonight is last night. And <laughs> I'm working tonight, and they win every time I work. Well, I told Melissa that I know if I they saw. win, you're taking credit. I'm taking I credit with my zombies. Um, yeah, we'll get more information on that. You have to sign up onto the group to get the pattern. Um, and so far, she has like 600 yeah. people, similar to. Um, and I'll bring in my yarn that I'm planning on cat. Yeah, next week, I will. I'll, next week, yeah. we'll do a thing we'll, on it next week. Link to it. Just link to it in that project. Yeah, well, in I'll the, link in to the, the show thread. Notes. Just link to the thread. Because, um, but we'll actually bring in the yarn and everything Yeah, because I guess week. it. she's encouraging wild and crazy colors mm -hmm. for those skeins of yarn that you don't and know what to do with. fingering weight and... 350 yards? I think, I think you need, yeah. So roughly. I have so much sock yarn, and I went through and found the wildest sock yarn. I don't generally buy really wild sock yarn, but... It's okay. <laughs> and, um, but I have some in my skein that I have really, in my skein, in my stash that I've wanted to knit up for a while, but it's just too crazy. Like, what would I ever do with it? Wendy's son is here and he keeps <laughs> stepping on the couch and that's what we're looking up. Yeah. He's okay. I, He's okay. I think that would be a good idea not to jump on the couch, Jack. He's kind of dancing. So <laughs> He's that... wearing pirate pants today. <laughs> I went to Dunkin' Donuts on the way here and like eight people were like, oh, it's a little pirate. Pirate Day is September 19th. Talk like a pirate day. I, mean, I only know that because it also happens to fall on my birthday. Oh, that's how I'll remember your birthday. <laughs> you know I don't even know my husband's birthday, I know. Right? I know. I know nobody. So, are you done with um, future dates? <laughs> I'm done We're with getting future tangents, dates. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay. We're only 20 minutes in. So, now that I am finished with my socks and my little preemie hat, I had to, I just had to do that with the leftovers i am going to cast on yay spring forward socks At long last. i will cast on them tonight um oh i like that little bit of orange right here can't I really know. see it but it's pretty i'm excited to and, see how um, that works out yeah i think it's gonna work up nice 
So it's sock pixies vegan yarn. Um, I'm gonna do I do little swatches of socks just by knitting a cuff to see what size needles I need because I do knit tightly and um, even though it calls for like a size 1.5 I tend to I don't know either go up or down. I don't know that looks like a small needle though. That's stretched out. I don't know it'll be interesting. That's not stretched out. Stretched out. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. Know. I just, I'm curious to see how it knits. And this is going to go right into my little thing. Look at that. It's right in there. And, uh, yeah, that's all the future I still have except for that shawl. So I'll have to, um... Yeah, we'll talk more about the mystery yeah, I'll shawl I'll have to figure out week. what I'm going to do for that. I really don't want to have too many on the needle, so... I mean, ever since we did the Wendy summer mystery shawl, I'm like, ooh, I can't wait to do another one. Yeah, it's fun. i to it. So yeah. that's all, all right. I have for future dates. Future dates. We're introducing a new segment this week that we're going to do occasionally. Um, I've been spinning. It's, it's, it's going to be called Whirlwind Romance, and it's, it will be featuring spinning that we've been doing. I've been spinning for about two years on a spindle, you know, intermittently, not regularly. Um, I really only got into it after Rhinebeck last year when I got my gold, in, which is a good spindle, and then I was like, oh, I can use a spindle. Um, and Sheila just got interested. And so, um, and then tell your story about last Friday, because well, they don't know. <laughs> well, yeah, they do if they're clerk buddies. Oh, uh, well, yeah, I know. <laughs> um, our friend Diane, Diane and Oz Hi, Diane. from uh, Ravelry came over, and Wendy, yeah. You were kind of giving it away. They ended up giving me... Um, you didn't know it was going to be that. No, <laughs> no. I was expecting just a plain old spindle. They ended up giving me a wheel, an Ashford traditional wheel. And I was very intimidated by it. I was very grateful, but didn't really know what to do or say about it. She wants to learn to spin on a spindle before I, she yeah, goes I'm not. I'm not really interested so much in um, the wheel so much. But this is the spindle that Diane also gave me, which is one that she had gotten. A very simple one. Nothing fancy. She did lend me her golding, which I fell in love with, which was probably a bad That's thing. That's my but favorite spindle. When I'm done with my knit tank, I will give you my golding, and you can borrow it until you're um, finished. So Wendy's borrowing the Ashford right now. I have it at my house. My husband doesn't even know about it. He, what he doesn't know. Well, no, <laughs> I need to fix up the computer room first before I yeah. even think about it. So... I spun this on the golding, and Diane plied it. It's very thick and thin. But this is her first? I think. It, no, is it? No, I'm sorry. That's not. What? This is my spinning from um, from this this one here. So this is my spinning. It's not plied. No, that's plied, honey. I, I can know. see it plying. No, it's not. Okay. No, it's not. Okay. Do you see? Uh, I guess you're right. What happened to the stuff she plied? Um, I must have put it someplace else. <laughs> she plied a nice little bobbin for me somewhere. Um, I'm, I'm not going to get up and look for it. I'll no. try and find it another time. But this is what I've spun off of my um, the spindle that she gave me, and it's very thick and thin. But, but it's her first hand spun. It's my first hand spun. Um, and I was able to actually, sorry about my head, um, make a leader and start another section of spinning on that. It's very overspun, too. That's okay. I, it's um, probably better to be overspun than underspun is what I always say so, when you're starting out. And I'm using the fiber that I got, and I love when I get pops of colors. I know, so it's pretty. fun. That's what makes spinning fun. Dropping there goes everything. the spindle. Sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, that's where I am on that. Not much. So this is the um, the Knit Tank Vegan Faux Angora. Um, it's not a natural fiber, but it's really, really soft. Mm. It's in the Birdie Bots Every Flavor Bean colorway, I think. I can't find what I did with the tag, but it's got like every color, so I think that's what it was called. Um, I've been working with that. I spun just, I don't know, like half an ounce of it. And plied it the other day, and this is, I haven't whacked it or done anything to it. This is just how it came out. And you can see it's got, if I hold it behind me, <laughs> you can see it's got a halo. Oh, sorry, yeah. Um, it's so soft, and I think it's coming out great. So that's how much I've done. And then I have um, a 
about this much. I need to take that off my spindle. So yeah, I'm really enjoying knitting with it. It's like butter or knitting with it, spinning with it. It's like butter. So um, I highly encourage anybody who loves Angora but is allergic oh, yeah. um, to try try out the fiber. I don't know if she sells a yarn, a finished yarn from it, but it's awesome. I showed oh. it off at my knitting night on Monday, and people could not believe that it's not real Angora, real Angora or a real a natural fiber. It really, it's so soft. It just, it's unbelievable. So I'm really enjoying that, and it's just so like butter to spin. And then. On Sheila's wheel, I am spinning. This is my first spinning wheel. Pretty spun good. yarn. No, it's it's got issues. <laughs> it's thick and thin. Um, a part of it is that the wheel has been through many owners, and yeah. it's it's a little it's a little touchy with the brake. So sometimes the take up is too fast, and sometimes it's not taking up at all, and you have to really work with it. But um, this is what I've spun so far. This is a, a little over an ounce. And um, it's out of Miss Babs um, BFL blend. I think it's BFL and Merino in the Vlad colorway, which is a lot of different shades of red and pink and cream. Nice colors. Yeah, uh, you can kind of see the variegation on there. I think it's going to be really pretty. Um, it's, it's, you know, it is what it is. It's my first spinning wheel fiber. But um, I'm really enjoying borrowing Sheila's wheel, and it has taught me a lot about what kind of wheel I want to mm. get. Um, I'm trying out a couple of other wheels that my friends have to try to... What is that? It's a pop gun. Jack, please don't use the pop gun. <laughs> um, he, I mean, he's being pretty good considering that he's here by himself, but well, dude, come on. <laughs> next week will be a true test because we'll have all, all kids of our home kids. for the summer. And All then the week kids. after that, we'll only have one. Um, I'll only have one because oh. Zachary goes to summer school. Well, that's right. And I don't will my parents be here yet? Eventually, I'm going to have no kids. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> For like two and a half weeks. I can't wait. So um, th that's it for my spinning. We're not going to do that very often. I think there are other podcasts that really get into the spinning and... Yeah, I'm just, we're not. Know, I don't even think I touched my spinning since maybe Saturday, to tell you the truth. I bring. I tend to bring my golding in the car with me. If I have to wait somewhere, I spin a little bit. I was spinning at a birthday party last week. Um, yes, that's where I cast on for like, you know, mindless hats. But, like I said, we're relatively new spinners. We don't spin that much. Um, I like to show it because it, it explains, this is why I didn't get much done on Jared Flynn, because I kept taking time out to do this. Um, but other than that, um, I don't think it's, it's not going to be a really regular feature on our show, but I'm having fun and Diane in Oz is giving me lots of spinning tips. Is she? Mm hmm So she's a really good teacher. Yes, she is. Excellent teacher. All right. So that's it for whirlwind romances. We both showed our. Yeah, our that's spinning. all I have. Um, um, let's see what we got now. Crushes and heartbreaks. Crushes and heartbreaks. I have one crush. Them. Um, somebody, and I apologize because I deleted the private message on Ravelry, and I'm sorry. I'm one, of the, I'm one of those that if there's any emails that I don't need, I get rid of it. It's, it's a cleansing thing in me. I just... See, I have every PM that I've ever been written in the oh, entire no. time. Oh, no. God, no, 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 I'm no, just, no, I'm no, like, no. I just let them stay in there. No, I can't do that. If you become friends with me, I, I friend you, I agree, or I say yes, and then you're gone. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that. So, someone PM'd me and sh showed me this website. It's called conquercancer.org. It's C-O-N-K-E-R-R -R cancer.org. And what they do is they make pillowcases for cancer patients across the country. They have 125 chapters across the country. There is one here in Massachusetts that works with Children's Hospital and I think the Jimmy Fund. Um, they've donated over 400,000 pillowcases across the country, and I believe that's since they've started. Wow. It could be 400 per year. I'm not sure. This pillowcase I'm going to show you. I don't know if it's from them, but Zachary was given this when he was at Children's Last um, for liver clinic. I mean, I'm sorry, for his liver transplant. And they give these to kids who are long-term, obviously. Not for kids with tonsil lectomies right. or anything. People who are going to be there, there for more than a couple of days. Yeah, people there for at least a week or more. And Zachary was there for three weeks. So this kind of made his bed a little bit more like home. 
And um, it's just a simple little pillowcase. It's, this is made out of flannel with geckos and frogs. And, um, you know, it's just basic. Nothing fancy that this person did or didn't. It looked like she made it too wide at one point and had to sew it back in. But he likes this. I like it. It's nice and soft and squishy. And, again, it makes it more like a little bit like home when you're away from home. More comfortable, less, you know. When, when I um, had my babies... I always brought my own pillowcases to the hospital because something, even though I just use their pillows, something about having my own nice pillowcases on the pillows made it just seem more yeah. relaxing and comfortable than it and makes less, sense. less I just, um, I never thought about institutional. It. Yeah. I just, well, it, see, the reason I didn't think about it is Zachary's been in these rooms before. Zachary, because he's a transplant patient, gets his own private room. And Wendy will tell you, these rooms are not small. No, they're huge. They're huge. They fit probably enough in a regular room for two people. So we never feel like we're in an institution when we're in those rooms. And well, um, when I had my babies, I had a room like that. Right. It was it's my own different. room. But I just personally, it, it just feels a little less like a hospital stay when you have something from home. I don't know. I just oh, I feel agree. a little... It's comforting to have that, and I, I think agree. The, I just I think never kids really, thought about it. I think kids really notice the difference. Yeah, they do. You know? And um, plus, it's fun. It's a frog and gecko thing. Yeah, and, and this was really nice. And you know, we uh, were given lots of things. I mean, you know, we loaded up his room that we came home with way more than we went in with. But I just wanted to shout it out again. It's Conquer yeah. Cancer. C O N K E R R cancer.org for anyone who um, likes to do some sewing if yeah. you have scraps for pillowcases check them out they have 125 chapters there's probably one near you and it uh, their motto is a case for smiles that is so sweet yeah, it is I, I love mean, that that's really and again cute. I apologize for who sent this out if you're watching this please let me know it was you <laughs> I apologize so that you can get, yeah. get credit the so and I deleted it. Deleter, deleter and it was by yes, accident. it was it was completely and utterly by accident. I apologize. So that's my crush and heartbreak. I don't have any crushes and heartbreaks this week. You're boring this week. I am. I'm so boring. It's ridiculous. Well, it makes <laughs> my, you feel better. You know better. what though? My week last week was so busy. That's why I'm so boring yeah. this week. I had like no time to do anything. I did buy something. Well, that's but it what, hasn't come in the mail oh, yet. <laughs> so I was gonna say, go, leading into that baubles and blings, I have nothing. Oh, I have. I I didn't put it on the show notes, but I went to Barnes and Noble, and got their summer bag, which I love. It's canvas, but it's rubberized on the bottom so that it will be um, waterproof, sort of waterproof. Yeah, it wouldn't be entirely waterproof. I wouldn't stick it in the water, but you can take it to the beach, and um, it's nice and big. Oops. There we go. It's bigger than Sheila. <laughs> and um, I'm going to just keep my... I have the winter one that is more like a bucket shape. And oh, yeah. I kept my knitting in it all winter. I still have it in my living room because it, they stand up. So I could just throw things in it and I don't have to worry about it. This I'm going to put the beach supplies for when Sheila and I take the kids to the beach. And just keep it in the back of my car so that it's always ready and I don't have to hunt around for stuff. That's a good idea. And, you know, my my husband and I take the kids out a lot during the summer to places like water country or, you know, picnics and stuff. And we'll always have everything in there. I won't have to hunt around for it. So um, if you want one, they still have them. I think they come in three different colors and designs. And they're at Barnes & Noble. Um, if you buy two things, any any two things, you can get them for twelve ninety five. I, I don't know how much they cost alone. It might be twenty four ninety five or something. I don't know. I have one of those Barnes and Noble membership card things, so I get a discount and I had a birthday party that my son was going to yesterday, so I picked up some stuff for the party and yeah. used that to get my bag. And I love it. So um, get them now. I know the winter ones went really fast. Yes. Um, I got one and the next week people couldn't find them anymore. They were sold out. So if you like it, it would make a good knitting bag too. Yeah. Um, it's, it's huge. I, I love how huge it is and I love that it stands up by itself. So that is my only, um, bobbles and bling this week. Like I said, I ordered something on Etsy because people keep telling me about <laughs> Etsy stores. Don't they know I'm weak? I am so weak. Yeah. See, they could tell me till 
They're blue in the face. Uh, it was bad. Um, we did start a new thread on our group called the um, enabling, enabling right. the enabling thread. Enter at your own risk, <laughs> and people have been posting links to um, their stores or their friends' stores or stores that they really love to buy things from. And I'm guilty. and Wendy keeps falling. I Tripping. know. Well, I did see this um, spindle. Oh yeah. <sighs> I really like it. Um, I. I was so tempted to buy it, and I posted on Plurk that I wanted somebody to buy it. So there's only one so that I would, so that they could stop me from spending my money. But I managed to hold off. Good. So I don't really need another spindle. I have two, and I, I don't need another one. Yeah, no, all. you don't need that. So um, I don't spin enough, and I'm thinking of getting a spinning wheel, and then I probably won't use them very much at all. So what am I thinking? Well, Diane still uses hers. Quite yeah, a bit. I, I like having one in the car, but. You know, stop me before I shop again. So uh, no more shopping. For no you. more shopping for. I don't need anything else. I wish I could just get that through my thick head. So yeah, that's it for my baubles and bling. Um, what's that's it up? for it? Gossip and innuendo is the next one. Okay, before First, we do our feature. Yes, we want um, to say thank we you. did our knit in public on June eleventh. It was miserable, freezing. Yes, cold, rainy. raining, raining. I ended up putting on my monkey socks that I had just taken off. Um, I had they were still on the blockers in my bag. I had them because I went to a knitting night on with a couple of friends on Friday, and um, I brought them to show. So I put them on. <laughs> I, I was She's so like, "I'm cold. so cold." I'm like, "Put your shoes, your socks." And I had on. my summer mystery shawl with me too, and I put that on, but it wasn't really big enough to warm me up. It was freezing. It was very cold. And despite for June the 11th. fact that it was raining freezing down we had Marsha and Megan come and sit with us for like an hour they are yeah. the biggest troopers ever hi guys Marsha's uh, Ravelry name is Nick Graham and she I was parking and she said hi to me as I was parking and kind of swooped me out and <laughs> she's like I don't know who that is so it was my first notice her first public it's you're like a movie star well <laughs> as I wrote to Marsha because she she apologized later I, as I wrote to her I'm like I'm usually recognized for being my mom you know, so-and-so's mom, Max's mom, Zachary's mom, oh, or better yet, Zachary's mom more because of doctors, oh, you're Mrs. DeWong, so yeah. when I got recognized for being me, it kind of threw me of, off. Plus, it's kind of cool. Yeah, it was, but it just... It threw you off. I had my boys with me, and they're like, who's that mom? I'm like, I don't but know. But it was awesome. We, <laughs> we told, had a good time. We had a good time. We told them about our local knit night, um, that that I go to. It's closer I don't, to my just, house. Yeah. She doesn't really get there. Well, I typically work on Mondays, yeah. for one thing, yeah, and it's, it's, it's a little night. further away than... By, well, by the time my husband gets home, and I was to go, it just yeah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be, worth be worth it. it. So, yeah, but I go every Monday night. It's my standing date. So we told him about that, and we had an awfully good time, and we agreed by consensus that we would leave early because it was so cold so we apologize if anyone did happen to show up before <laughs> i don't know time, why you would have we're sorry we weren't there. i couldn't believe that they showed up they are troopers so yeah they really are next year we're gonna do a better bigger event i hope and well with more planning with more planning this was kind of a last minute thing. yeah um, so that was one gossip and innuendo. Um, I also just wanted to give a shout out to Melissa. Hi, Melissa. Hi, I'm Melissa. making the Bruins win. Um, she's going to be participating <laughs> in the I-91 Shop Hop, oh, that's which I talked weekend. about. It's June 24th through 26th, um, and it's a yarn crawl to 11 stores in, in um, Western Massachusetts, Connecticut, and Vermont. I don't think I'll um, be able to go. Uh, Melissa is going to be at Metaphor Yarns. Um, hosting a dye your own yarn buffet table which i think sounds, sounds like fun i i really want to go if sheila can't I go i want I'm to try but to i get just out there. um i think we're supposed to be getting some windows in next weekend and... yeah i don't know i mean my husband's leaving for china in a couple weeks so i don't know if he's going to be that into driving out there but i want to try to go just because i like melissa and sean and i want to say hi to melissa oh absolutely and um i'm hoping she'll have some of her yarn there because i i don't usually buy yarn before touching it but i'd like to see hers um she has some really pretty stuff on her website. Her yarn is Keegan Lane Yarns, for mm. those of you who don't know. So I, I would love to catch up with her there and see her stuff and dye my own yarn at yeah, the buffet cool. table. <laughs> that sounds awesome. I don't it know how that would work, awesome. but I want to try it. So um, that's our other gossip and innuendo. And then we're going to do a little feature this week on how we keep track of um, charts. Like something like this. 
um, as you can see. I'm not keeping track of this chart because it's so small. Well, and the fact that you're not using it any. Oh, are you still no, using it? I still it? use it for the. Oh. I'm new in it right now. Oh, all right. I didn't know. But that. it's, you can see, it's, it's, it's only 11 stitches across, and it's, you can tell from looking at it. So I don't really need a chart for that. But when I get to certain parts of Jared Flood's shawl, like this, I can't get it out. I'm probably going to need a chart. Oh, yeah. Keeper for that. So, so this is the chart keeper we both have. But yes. I, I think it's from Knit Picks. <clears throat> it is from Knit Picks, and mine's a little fuzzy from my Your alpaca. Area. But this is what I'm using for my um, alpaca chart. This is my chart keeper here, and I read below the chart, below the magnet. Oh, you do below? I do below, I do above. just because that way I can know that, oh, yeah, I'm right where I need to be because this is right here and that's right there. And then these are just holders. Um, if it's a smaller chart, like Wendy Knits um, Mystery Shawl was kind of small, especially the last one. Yeah. I use either post-it notes or little colored tabs, and I got this for free from CVS. I know. And I love it. Did you get me one? No. Well, no, because they gave me a whole bag full of pill stuff. <laughs> they gave me a pill you. keeper. <laughs> this was when I had to refill Zachary's umpteen million I get no medications for him. Yeah, Sorry. that's awesome. I have one of those I from... You, <laughs> <laughs> you got me a notepad. With a D with on a D it. With a D on it. I know. I'm just teasing you. I, know you I have one like that from the Loopy U. I think she might sell them. That It's a similar setup with that, that it, except that it's those Loopy Yeah, U it's on probably it. something that any marketing could be able to. Yeah, I, I mean, you probably, is, I like it. Um, this happens to be our local pharmacy CVS for, you know, other stuff. But. I use, this is sewing pattern tape that oh. I got at Joanne Fabric. I know they also make a knitting version. Um, that I got from my local yarn store, Butterfly Yarns, uh, is where I had it, which is twice as wide as this. I prefer the narrower kind, and I'll show you why. Um, I keep it, this is my little necklace thing. Fop, fop, it has, um, it, yeah, fop, it, it, it can zoom. <laughs> it has a piece of sock yarn stuck on it, I'm sorry. I was going to say, was there a reason for that sock No, yarn? I got caught in my bag. I wasn't um, sure. I keep a little pair of puppy snips. They're little tiny scissors. I think we showed those before. I think we did. I think we've showed my little kit before. But anyways, I, I keep them on there so that I can snip it off. And what you do is you take it and you um, put it on the chart. Now, do you read through it, under it? Or? Um, you can read through it because it's highlighter tape. I usually read above the tape. Okay. Um, and uh, what I do is I put, you can do it straight on the paper, but sometimes it starts to, if you've printed it out on a, um, jet printer, ink jet printer like I have. Sometimes it starts to take the ink off. Oh. I put almost all of my patterns, you'll see when I bring them in, I put them in a, one of these um, covers, slip covers, the little plastic folder page things. Um, I buy these at the dollar store. I get like a hundred for a dollar. Oh they really? Have them I didn't know they had them <laughs> yeah, at the dollar they, store. You know, because they don't have to be nice. And the nice thing about it is it keeps all of your pages together. Nice. I can have two sides going at the same time. And I usually put whatever chart I'm working on from on one side. And on the other side, I have the directions, the written directions of what I'm doing in the shawl. And um, then you can just stick the tape on top of here and it's much easier to remove. Oh. So that's... That's my preferred way, this. Um, we also just found out that I have oh, on my yeah. iPad I application, my iPad and I would show it to you, but my son is using it to play um, Ninja Fruit. <laughs> Mine's charging, sorry. Um, it's an application called Goodreads, and it helps you Goodreads. store all of your PDF files. What you do is you, when you do an update with your iPad, you just transfer files over from your computer. So what I do on my computer is I keep a little folder on my desktop that says new patterns, and every time I get a new pattern from Ravelry, a PDF, I store it in there. And every time I do an update, I just pull that folder onto my iPad, and it shoots all of the new patterns, in oh, it, and right. then I empty it out. So that's how I keep track of them. Um, but it has a feature where you can highlight on the pattern, on the PDF, or you can also draw a line, like a red line, and you can use your finger to move it up and down. It doesn't have to stay in one place. You can move it around. Um, cool. And we both have a case for our iPads that allows you to stand it up yes. sideways. So if you make the screen big and use the moving thing, it's the same, essentially, as using the highlighter tape. It's the same thing. Or this. Or the magnet, yeah. 
Um, I don't really knit from my iPad, but my friend I Diane do. and Oz, who is just like all we're doing is talking about her today, she does knit I, from hers almost exclusively. Yeah, I do. I um I try to unless I don't have the Good Reader app, and I will get it. Um, but I do try and knit from my iPad because I don't like to have too many pieces of paper, and I'm also one that if I do have paper, I print on both sides. But um, yeah. So I I I can highly recommend it. Um. I, the other thing that I use sometimes, and I don't have my iPhone handy, it's an application on, um, I wish I could remember the name of it now. I had it out last week. when we Knitminder, I think it. it's called? Yes. It's a little application that was free on the iPhone, and it allows you to keep track. It's kind of like a chaka 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 thing, you know, that you click the rows, except that you can keep track of the row, one of the clicky things. Don't click it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Are you I keeping am. track of something on yes, there? Yes, I am. <laughs> it's like that, except that you can you can customize it to keep yes. track of the row, to keep track of the pattern row, to keep track of uh, repeat increases, decreases. It it has like a bunch of different things that you can customize. So, um, you know, if you have your iPhone with you all the time, I I never have my phone with me, which is <laughs> why I don't have it right now. <laughs> it's over across the room, but um. But That's another here. good thing. Yeah, it's here somewhere. Um, is it charged? Well, mine's charging if you want. I can get one of that. <laughs> it's fine. But um, th that's another thing you could use. Um, and then the tried and true method. I know a lot of people use just a simple highlighter. Oh, cross it out when and they're they done with the line? Or highlight something? the row when they're done with it. Um, Does, um, I'm sorry, go ahead. I don't do that because I would have to... Re print, print out the, the pattern paper. again. Yeah. I don't know. I just I don't like to mark up my patterns that much unless they're notes that I know I'm gonna need for the next. And time. when I ch did the um, things on the Jared flood shawl, I mean that just helps. It doesn't. It's not really doing. It's not, it's not changing the pattern. It's really just clarifying it. Um, the other thing that people have done is, and I'm sure you've seen it, is they take a ribbon and they have a magnet glued to it. Oh, right. And they, where it closes the paper. Are they called pattern keepers, I, I think, think they're is called what pattern they're called. keepers. A lot of people sell them in their um, Etsy shops. Yeah. Ask me how I know this. Because <laughs> I am so out of control with Etsy. But that's another option. But that's, you know, that's how we keep tracks of patterns. It's, you know. Yeah. I, I, it's whatever com you're comfortable with. And it, it's funny because I all use different things depending you on know, what I'm working on. My knit night has anywhere between 7 to 25 people, depending on the night. Um, we have a lot of people that are in that group. Uh, and it's interesting to me how differently people Everybody does use their patterns. I know people that, I know one woman who puts a check mark after each row oh. um, as she's okay. going along to, to keep track that I've way. I've done that. I've done that for repeats, but um, I see, do the I old just, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, <laughs> I do that. Some, I do that when I'm doing decreases at the same time as something else. Yeah. <laughs> I have to write it down. Although, I don't know. I've grown so lazy now. Like this, I'm supposed to do a certain number of neck decreases, and I just kind of eyeball it and go, "Yeah, it looks like I didn't do one last." I have to do it every other row. I just kind of eyeball it and say, "Yeah, I haven't done one for a couple of rows." <laughs> I'm a lazy knitter. What can I say? <laughs> we'll see how this turns out. I'm a little concerned. I will admit that um, I remember that mistake. I, I, during our knit in public, I noticed that I had made a mistake on the sleeve. And it was, this is how big the sleeve is. And it was about here. And I was up, I was almost done with it. I did rip it back on Sunday and re-knit. Oh, I didn't know you had a mistake. Yeah, I, I did the same row twice. Oh. On two different repeats, I did the same row twice. So I had two of these little bug things. Um, we also showed it to the people at Knit in Public, and, and I'm the only one the who only thinks one it looks like bugs. bugs. Come on, people. Doesn't that look like bugs? Somebody. It's bugs. It looks more like bugs this way. No. No. Bugs. No. <laughs> I'm going to rename this the bug sweater. There you go. But, um, yeah, that's probably that's why sad. I should have been using a pattern keeper there or tape. Go. Then I would not have come there you to go. The, that's the downside. So that's all we have. I think so. We got anything else? You I got anything so. going on you just want to tell people about? 
I don't know. Do I have anything going on that I just want to tell people about? I don't know. My little guy's still dealing with issues. The boys are out. Um, Monday's their last day, although Zachary gets one week off, and he goes back to summer school. That's tough um, on a kid. He know, he's been I doing know it he every knows. summer. He so. doesn't know any different. My oldest, son is, my oldest son is looking forward to it, and we're going to be working hard on his soccer skills. That's good. Um, Lily that, gets out on Monday, too. My daughter. That, I don't think so. Um, um, my husband's so. going to China in a couple of weeks. Does he have a date yet? Sometime around July 10th. Oh. My dad's coming home from China tomorrow. <laughs> Is he going to bring anything? Uh, probably not. Probably not. No, he's, he lives in China about four months out of the year. It's, he's, lives for four months, comes back for a month, goes for four months, comes back. He pretty much lives in China and he's just coming back for some, uh, medical issues. Nothing oh. serious. Yeah, yeah. My dad's going in for eye surgery. Oh, good luck, Dad. And my dad had um when Zachary had his transplant, he came home the night we got called in for the transplant, which I kind of thought yeah, was that funny. was right. I remember that. And uh, he had something removed from his throat, and now his voice box—it was from his voice box—is very. It sounds like he's trying very hard to be loud, and he's not. So he's gonna get something similar to Botox. To his, relax the muscles yeah, so that he can so make that, more noise. Yeah, exactly. So, nothing serious. Nothing serious, but that's pretty much it for what's going on with us. Yeah, so if you're watching us from iTunes, we thank you. If you're a new viewer, welcome. If you're a returning one, thank you to, for coming back. <laughs> if you're on iTunes, leave a comment or a star rating. We always love to read comments, good or bad. Mm -hmm. uh, you can reach the show notes at knit1heart2too.blogspot.com. <laughs> She's getting it now. You, <laughs> notice how I said dot black spot? I Since know. a couple of weeks ago, you didn't think I did? <laughs> I wasn't listening no, a couple weren't. weeks ago. I don't know which listen. Uh, we can be reached at a Gmail account, knit1heart2too at gmail.com. I do check it at least every other day. We are on Plark as knit1heart2. We share the account. I am on Twitter as knit1heart2. I don't really tweet too much. Um... Now I need to find out how to access that because I went to access it and I didn't know how to get on. Oh. Um, I was going to tweet. You, you threw me off. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> I'm on, we're on Spark People as Sheila D37 and Penny Winnie 2. Two. And I think that's it. And we have a group on Ravelry. Did you yes, say that? Yes, I always we forget can, that. We can join, you can join that directly from our blog page. Yes, it's up here on I the right hand. I made a little button thing. It's up on her side. Yeah. On the right hand corner, here. right hand. Right over there. Um, and yes. I think that's it. That's it. So have a good week and knit with, knit with heart. heart. Bye. Bye.